Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Topps Chrome Baseball 12 box pick your team number four. Big thanks to all of these lovely people right here for getting into it on Tuesday the 6th, 2019. Eric, last bot mojo, Yankees. There you go, Sanford with that oppo Joe mojo as well. Sometimes it works, Sanford. Here's the hobby case right here. Good luck. <laughs> Got a fresh blade going as well. Look at that. Clean cuts. Sharp blade is a safe blade. Here's all the boxes right here. Six on the left side, six on the right side, and we're looking at what, two autographs a box? Yeah, two autographs per box. Good luck, good luck, good luck. What's going on, uh, what's going on in the baseball world today? We've got the Texas at Cleveland game has been postponed. I would imagine that's due to rain. And the first of the doubleheader, White Sox up 5-3. There's another delay in Detroit. In the second game of the doubleheader, uh, White Sox are down 1-5 to Detroit. I'm on the White Sox in that game. In the top of the ninth, let's see here. What game's closer to finishing? Let's give you those scores here too. Top of the ninth. Kansas City up on the Red Sox, 6-2. to two. I'm on the Royals tonight. In the top of the eighth, uh, Reds are up 7-4. to four. I'm on the Angels there. Top of the ninth, Mets shutting out the Marlins 5-0. to zero. Mets have been playing some hot baseball lately. Top of the eighth, Toronto and Tampa Bay are tied at 6. Well, so what are some of the other games happening here? Top of the sixth, Oakland up 11 at nothing on the Cubbies. Houston up 4-2 on the Rockies in the bottom of the fifth. Top of the sixth, uh, Braves shutting out the Twins 5 to nothing. First inning, Phillies up early, 1-0 on the Diamondbacks. Scoreless in the top of the first in San Francisco. That game's just starting. And then Yankees up 5-2 on the Orioles in the bottom of the fourth. So that's what we got going on. Cards are us. What's going on? Things are going great. Is Derek Rodriguez in this set? I saw some of the players' weekend jerseys. Not all of them, though. I always like that weekend, though. That's always a fun one. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Here we go. So stuff like this will obviously ship. And not, not a rookie, but that will ship. That won't ship. But refractors of these would ship. And stuff like these inserts will obviously ship. And our first autograph is Isaac Galloway, rookie auto for Sherry and the Marlins. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end of this video as well. Obviously, stuff like that will ship to those parallels. Makes sense, right? Veteran commons do not ship. Obviously, that'll ship. That's numbered. That's to 150. JK for the Twins. That's going to go to... Uh, who's Minnesota? Steve Locke with the Twins. We haven't seen any of these 1984 autographs, which I think look sharp, the cards. And there is Newman, Kevin Newman, our second autograph of the box. Shahadi with the Pirates. Nice, good one, Cards Are Us. And we'll randomize these left and right. We'll side those over there so I'll remember. Nice to Tease Jr. Set that aside. Not 
thought that was Pete Alonzo for a second. All right, box one. over here next box it's a final in New York the Mets have beaten the Marlins five to nothing the Mets have been on a nice hot streak they added Stroman kept Syndergaard they've just been winning left and right Trend, what's going on, Aaron? How are you? Yeah, your A's are laying wood, Greg. That's true, Grego. Cards are us. You're lobbying for MLB Network to show minor league games more frequently. Let me know how that goes. I think you can buy MILB.TV for pretty cheap. And you can pretty much get every minor league game, I think, for relatively not that much. Yeah, Mets have a good shot at that wild card spot. Matthew saying NBA is going to be the king of sports. You think the NFL lockout is going to be one for the ages? MLB may have a, a collective bargaining issue as well in a few years if they don't get anything. Uh, I mean, if they don't get their act together, players and owners. Mariners Tim Beckham suspended without pay for 80 games violating the performance enhancing substance policy MLB come on Tim Beckham not sure if they, they were actually helping Tim Beckham right hey oh Chris Bryant 50 out of 99 green wave for the Cubs Lionel with that We'll save another one with Tatis Jr. Is this DJ Stewart? That is Mark Madsen with the O's. It's our first autograph out of the box. I'm not sure. I actually didn't read past the first paragraph, Greg. I'm not sure what exactly the, the substance was that triggered the positive. But that seems to be the, the one of choice these days, the fertility drugs. Chance Adams, rookie autograph. 54 out of 150. That goes to Eric and the Yankees. Eric Rittenhouse got the Yankees uh, last. Last spot mojo strikes again. What do you think now that there are no waiver trades? Um, I'll say one of those Pete Alonzo's Mets. I'm okay with it. I think... Um, I don't know. I always thought that the August deadline was the August waiver deadline was kind of weird because the, the the rules were just so hard to. I mean, not not hard to figure out, but it was just for the casual fan. It was just like, oh, where'd that come from? Oh, you guys send players through waivers, and then 
and then players will get butt hurt if they put you through waivers, but they don't get traded. So then they're, were you trying to trade me? You know, so I feel like it was a lot more trouble than it's worth. And then now it would always it gets annoying if like you know your team with the team that you have just been battling all season long, then all of a sudden one team just makes one big waiver deal with a month of the season left, and then they can just blow by someone with like pretty much a ringer, right? At the end of the end of the end of the year, but. So I kind of like that they, they, they moved it all to, to late July. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. Eliminated the waiver deal. And I think I think as teams kind of get used to that deadline, I think they'll they'll uh, they'll be able to kind of figure out how to strategize. You know, to figure out earlier whether they are going to be contenders or not, buyers or sellers, when that point of the season comes around. Um, there, I mean, there's always a threat of a lockout in every sport, RT. All right, I forget when the NFL's collective bargaining agreement is up, but I know baseball's is coming up soon. But at the end of the day, I, I like the one the one trade deadline thing. It kind of puts more focus on that particular day now maybe maybe they can adjust it big maybe they can move it back a couple weeks or something like that maybe that would help but for the most part I, I, I think I think I like how that change has been made I think everyone's blaming the deadline for not seeing too many deals but I think it's just a lot of GMs who are just really overvaluing prospects and you know, not wanting to quote lose the trade, right? A lot of young GMs out there don't want to lose the trade. So the idea of winning the trade, I think, has has prevented a lot of people from taking riskier moves that might help their team. Josh James, Astros, Mark Passmore. We'll slate, save a Vlad Guerrero Jr. And there's Aramis Garcia. That will be for Sanford and the Giants. Little Oppo Joe Mojo. Orange team box. Orioles and Giants. Nice. And RT saying there's one left in Majestic. Nice. Which will happen at the end of this break, which should be in about another 45 minutes or so. too quickly the autofocus loses its focus Tyon looks like he's done for the season another elbow surgery for him Not off the top of my head, cards are us. I don't know who the the big free agents are next year. No Will Smiths as of yet. Oh, we are not too many boxes in. This is only box, what, four? Grego saying the humidity in Chicago looks brutal tonight. Did they restart that delayed game? Or are you looking at the Cubs game? Oh no, White Sox are on the road. You must be watching that Cubs game. Yeah, I, I'm all I can do I can do heat. It doesn't bother the hum, humidity is what definitely bothers me.
Edward's asking if you can see the humidity. That's what it felt like when I was in, in uh, when Nick Jaspi and I were in Houston a couple years ago for the for a TriStar show or something like that. And uh, I, I felt like we were swimming through the air. The humidity was so thick. Um, I don't. I I saw the All Star Game logo for the Dodger for at Dodger Stadium next year. I don't remember what it looks like. <laughs> I think I thought it was okay. I guess. I don't remember it being bad. I'm excited about that though. Gianni flying to Italy tomorrow. Nice. But the humidity is supposed to be insane. Not looking forward to that part. No, that doesn't sound fun at all. And I think it's been somewhat unseasonably hot in Europe, all across Europe, right? All right. There's Goldschmidt leading things off in the next box. Is that... I thought it was a red Patrick Wisdom for a second. No, it's orange Patrick Wisdom. On-card autograph for Adam Adamo and the Cardinals. 24 out of 25. thought it was going to be out of five red for a second there, Adam, but this is still nice. Robinson Cano out for the season. Hamstring tear. Just as he was kind of coming around. Offensively. There's Ramon Loriano for the A's. Larry with the Athletics. Nice. First episode of Hard Knock starting right now. I don't we don't have HBO on our direct TV here, but I have it at home. I'll be watching it tonight. We can all discuss tomorrow. There's Blue Manny Margot to 150. Nice Bellinger, black and white. Photo negative, whatever they call that. And Albius right there. All right, so Margot and uh, Margot. Ramon, Loriano, and Patrick Wisdom were your two autographs there. Next box. was asking why do you think the MLB hasn't done much for the 150th anniversary while NFL has done more for their own well, what, did you, what did you want baseball to do what, was your, what are your ideas I don't know 100 feels more milestone-y than 150 though doesn't it Maybe MLB's 200th anniversary, they'll go, they'll go nuts for it. Yeah, I heard about Cliff Branch. Um, definitely a little young for that that generation, but I was watching some Raiders stuff uh, over the weekend, and they were. They were talking about how after after he passed, that they uh, that a lot of the players, especially the receiving core, watch like highlights of Cliff Branch and stuff like that, just to kind of pay him respects. Raiders are pretty good about uh, about honoring their their history and 
teaching the younger kids about about that. Yeah, I I heard like a little bit of that, Grego. That Antonio Brown got phosphorized on, on his feet by by going into some, some cryogenic chamber, but not wearing the proper footing or something like that. No, w wish I was on hard knocks. I'm not though. All right, next box, fifth box. Good luck. There's Matt Boyd up front. And there's Williams Astudio for the Twins. That's going to go to Steve Locke, who got the Twins. 78 out of 150. Phil Simms' kid from NBC told a story about the frostbite feet. <laughs> Edward's like, if that frostbite thing is real... Would be the very standard kinds of absurdity for the Raiders, yeah, for our Raiders, indeed. Make for some good hard knocks episodes. And there's Francisco Arcia. Angels. That will be for Mark Matheson. Colby Allard, purple. That's to 299. Braves with that one. Jeremy Tillman with the Bravos. And we are getting into. Oh, and there is the one per case relic. Game used memorabilia going to the Rangers. Rookie debut, Daniel Hayes. All right, box six. This is a hobby, pick your team number four. I'm assuming that Majestic is going to be next, right? I don't know if any Raiders preseason games are in L.A., are they? You know, I've never been to a pro football game. But no, I don't think I'll be going to any regular season games either. I'm saving my pennies, saving up my pennies for Raiders in Vegas. Save up for that. Oh, they play the Chargers in LA? As always, do they always play the Chargers in, in LA? Oh, Majestic, so there's one team left. That sounds like the, that's not 120, that sounds like the Redskins, right? Someone go grab the Redskins. Dwayne Haskins hunting. All right, good luck, everybody.
Oh, I thought you meant preseason. Yeah, I know that they play each other once home and away in the regular season. There's Trevor Richards, Miami Marlins. That's for Sherry and the Marlins. And Kevin Kramer, Blue Shimmer for the Pirates. That's to 75, Shahadi. There's Reese Hoskins Green to 99. And next autograph is, it's a Marlins box. Personal box for Sherry. With Austin Dean now. Halfway through the break, let me clear clear away a little space for myself here. Halfway through the break, second half. It is a final in Boston. Royals beat the Red Sox six to two. Man, the Red Sox have what's going on? What's going on in Boston? Baseball fans? The Red Sox are struggling. They're on quite a slide. I think they restarted that White Sox Tigers game, top of the sixth. Tigers up 5 1. Looks like Zach Ranke in his first start as an Astro. Maybe not going very well. It's Astro. Astro is still leading six five. Granky is giving up only two earned runs. And there must have been some errors in there somewhere. But five runs have scored on Granky's debut. In Pittsburgh, they're going to the bottom of the ninth. I'm on the Pirates tonight. Brewers up 4-2. Can the Pirates walk it off in the bottom of the ninth? We'll see.
two more autographs out of this box. Good luck. Well, nice. Happy early birthday cards. There's Cedric Mullins for Mark Madsen and the Orioles. You're going where? Texas de Brazil? There's another Williams Astadio for the Twins, C Block. I like this expression right here from Lindor. He's like, huh, hey, what are you going to do? I'm good. There's an orange Justice Sheffield to 25 for Darren McKenzie, 11 out of 25. Nice. Brian O says, wow, they pulled an R.J. Barrett auto out of one of the gold packs. This, this break is part of the gold pack promo. Gold, silver pack, VIP box promo. Purple Matt Olson. Wow, out of a silver pack? The RJ, but even better. We're giving away those too. All right. Another box. Another two autos. Yes, we do need to do that jersey break. Looks like Majestic is sold out. Nice. So someone must have gotten that, uh, gotten the big team. So now we need to do 18. Uh, move 18 spots in that jersey break in order to give away break credit, and that will also be part of the Jaspies Fanatics hit list promo and the week long national promo. Yeah, there's some values to the to the short prints, especially if they're the rookies. Uh, no, we're not. Cards. Yes, finally, Majestic. RT, weren't you, weren't you threatening to go to bed? You gonna make it? Got about half an hour left in this break before we can get to that one. Trying to stay awake. Almost there. Almost there. Stay on target. All right. Next box. There's Framber Valdez. Yeah, I went to the Hall of Fame game, huh? You have an Instagram? Cards are us? All of your travels? Twitter, maybe? You should follow us on Twitter. 
Oh, you gotta wake up at five tomorrow? Yeah, then it is pretty late for you. Gotta wake up there. And there's Daniel Ponce de Leon. 45 out of 50. Gold Shimmer. Adam Adamo with the Cardinals. Ozzy Albius to 75. And we've got a green Shohei Otani. That 84 style right there. 94 out of 99. It's a pretty cool look. Mark Matson with the Halos. All right, RT. Thanks for trying your best to stay up. Good luck in the break. All right, next one. How much is a jugs machine, you guys? I'm watching NFL Network right here, Juju Smith-Schuster at the Jugs Machine, chatting with Michael Irvin, I think. How much does a Jugs Machine cost? Get one for the shop. Football coaches out there that can let us know how much a jugs machine costs your school. Patrick Mahomes has his own cereal. Who does he, who does he think he is? Doug Flutie? Oh, he did it for charity? I figured. All right. Next one. There's Purple Juan Soto to 299 for the Nats, Victor Z. And a redemption. Any guesses on the redemption here for bragging rights? I, we should hire Chase Utley to do group breaks. I think Chase Ellie doesn't need to work. I think he's fine. What would I do? Two redemptions in this box. There's Gold Paul DeYoung, 17 out of 50 Cardinals. That'll be for Adam. Michael J. guessing Matt Chapman. Edward guessing Santana. 
All right, there's Trevor Bauer. No, Julio Urias is busy trying to win a World Series for the Dodgers. Cards, come on now. All right, behind Colin Moran, you got an orange ink out of Ginter? Jacob? It's interesting. You are due to receive a rookie autograph refractor parallel of D, could be Dennis Santana, no, or Danny Jansen. That's for the Blue Jays. That's going to go to Joe P. from Jersey. Not to be confused with Arizona Joe P. Two Joe P's. All right. And the next redemption is rookie autograph of, this is just a regular one, D... A is that's another Danny Jansen. That's a bird box. One's a refractor, one's a base. There you go. Starting your Danny Jansen PC, Joe, whether you intended to or not. All right. Three boxes to go. An orange autograph out of Ginter says Jacob Freeze. Hmm. That, that's, that's what I love about it. It's always some quirky product. You, always, you can always see something wacky pop out of that Allen and Ginter. All right, and the Pirates scored a run in the bottom of the ninth, but... Kevin Newman lines out softly to the pitcher. Matt Albers, game is over. Milwaukee Brewers win 4-3. EJC, what's going on, man? So I had financial interest in the Pirates. They failed me. I have financial interest in the White Sox. They are currently failing me. But the Royals did not fail me. Angels are being delayed right now. Top of the eighth. Oh, they're, don't call that game. They're probably going to call that game. But I'm also on the Oakland A's who are destroying the Cubs 11 to 2. So, not on the checklist too? Hmm. Yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to check that out. Are there any other on eBay? Or is it just yours? Now, we usually don't allow links, Jacob, but I will allow yours. So if you want to drop that into the chat, I can approve it. They're probably going to call that game in Cincinnati, right? They're up 7-4, top of the eighth. It's an interleague game. There's no, no reason to extend that, right? to last box. Whoa, Michael Gabai, Michael G saying that I've got a green ink Mike Jaspi, super short print, mini self autograph, only one in existence that you know. I think that it, that is a rare one. That's right, the boss man was in Ginter a year or two ago, a couple years ago, I think. He's on the checklist, folks. Mike Jasperson. Under our old store name. And there's Ty Buttry. For the Halos. That is for Mark Matheson.
That's what Mark's looking for, and that autograph right on that kind of card. And there's Kevin Pillar, orange, 25. There he is again, Blue Jays edition. Should be one more autograph. There it is. Nicholas Cufo for the Rays. Bill Anton for the Tampa Bay Rays. Nice. Rays are in the bottom of the ninth, tied at six apiece. Blue Jays six, Rays six. No financial interest there, but that's a close one. Let's see if they let's see if the Rays walk it off. I do remember that, Michael. One thousand dollar. I think that was from like a ten buck break too. Rays have two men on. Two outs, two and two of the count to Avicel Garcia. Single would do it. Wait, Edward, do you have, do you have the link to it that you can drop into the chat? Obviously, like Garcia has fouled off like four pitches in a row. Obviously, Garcia strikes out swinging a 94 mile per hour fastball. Bonus baseball in Tampa Bay. No one seems to want to drop a link for that for that uh, eBay thing, Roy. Hi, Tracy. Um, that sounds like an eBay break. If you read your item description, the time and the place for it. Is uh, there. Oh, it disappeared? Oh, maybe, are they automatically preventing links then? Try it one more time, Edward, if you, if you can. Oh, maybe it's automatically Blocking the usually I I have a chance to like review it and then allow it. Hmm. Oh well, I'll look it up after this break. There's Ryan Baruki, green shimmered at ninety nine for the Blue Jays. Joe with that. Where's the first auto? <laughs> oh, there it is. It's Josh Rogers for the Orioles, Mark Madison with the O's. No problem, Tracy, good luck. 
It's in the same building, just in a different channel for the eBay stuff. But all is revealed in the description. There's the last auto there. Got nervous. Usually the first auto pops a little bit earlier. There's Heath Fillmeyer. Royals auto for V Rack Men. With that one. Out of four ninety-nine. All right, and our last box at long last is coming up. Good luck, everybody. See what else is happening in baseball? Anything else going on? No, Yankees still up 6-4 on the Orioles. White Sox scratching back a run. It's 5-2 now. Bottom of the ninth, I think Cubs have scored a couple runs to make it 11-4. I don't think I don't think they're gonna make it. Atlanta also has 11 runs on the board. They're up 11-3 on the Twins. Top of the fourth, Phillies up 1-0 on the Diamondbacks. Uh, Mike Leake's first start for Arizona. Nationals up 4 1 on the Giants in San Francisco, bottom of the third. Top of the second, Cardinals up early, 1 0 on my Dodgers. Zeros on the board in the bottom of the second. San Diego is in Seattle. And that Angels Reds game still delayed, top of the eighth. Well, I don't know. YouTube changes that setting all the time, Edward, so sorry about that. I'll just have to look for that link afterwards, after this break. I thought we had a we had a review option, but I suppose that's gone now. But it always I don't know. I don't know what, what YouTube does with the chat. Last box, last two autographs. This is 12 box hobby. Pick your team number four, 2019 Tops Chrome Baseball from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Keep your eye out in the store for more. Thanks, everybody. So, what are our final two autographs going to be? Monsters? I hope. Been a, it's been a pretty solid break, but I could use a monster here. Maybe that Redemption's going to be a monster. Monster or Danny Jansen? Let's play America's favorite game. Monster or Danny Jansen? There's Cedric Mullins. Purple rookie auto for Mark Matheson and the O's. 35 out of 250 on that one. What's up, Gilo? What's going on? I was on your Royals today. Thank you to the Royals. There's Jake Bowers for the Tribe. Mark Madsen with the Indians, 25 out of 50 on that gold shimmer. Jake Bowers. Michael Givens. And behind J.P. Crawford is a rookie autograph of... Ooh, not Danny Jansen. It's 
Chris. Who's the other? Oh, I know. I think. No, I was. I thought it was gonna be Kristen Stewart, but that's Chris Paddock. That's for the Padres. Man, what suspense on that one? That was wild. That goes to Jer Jersey Joe P. and the San Diego Padres. Wish we could find his teammate as well, but maybe next time. But there's Chris Paddock in the end, who's had a pretty fine season, actually. Let's do the randomizer, the left-right rando, and then a quick autograph recap. Let's randomize that list. Four, five and a four, nine times one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, right side will get him. So all right side teams will get those. All right, and the quick autograph recap from the last box of the case to the first box of the case. Double Danny Jansen in the same box. Double Fish in the same box. Darvish. Some color, there we go. Nice orange, Patrick Wisdom. A few orange teams there. Blue Wave, Chance Adams, Kevin Newman, and Isaac Galloway led things off tonight. There you go. That was Pick Your Team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for breaking with us, and we will see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.